Hi, my name is Pavel. I am in ICPC Analytics team and I will present solution for problem iQuests, which is not solved by team yet, but we think is reasonably hard, is reasonably easy problem. So problem is about designing quests, which is some game with, which has n levels. Each level has several characteristics. First of all, it's its difficulty and its experience you gain when you pass this level. So when you pass the level, you get plus x, y experience. And if your level is less than its difficulty, so if you, if you pass the complex level fast, you get a lot, much more experience than, than experience you gain by level is multiplied by some constant c. Well, the level you have is total experience you already gained divided by some constant v. And the problem is to find the optimal order of levels to gain as much experience as possible. So why the order is matters? The fact that if you pass a lot of levels, a lot of easy levels in the beginning, that you have a lot of experience and doesn't get, get multiplication for some next levels. So let's start with analyzing the case when we have only two, le two levels and then try to make the, the whole solution from that. So when n is equals to 2, we have two possible orders. There are several cases when order doesn't matter. First of all, if one of levels can't be passed with multiplier, then order doesn't matter. We should just use the, another one first, and it's OK. So the interesting case is where all, both levels can be passed by, with multiplier. So we have level which gives us x1 points and has difficulty d1. And another level which gives x2 points and difficulty d2. So which is optimal order for them? First of all, when we can get multiplier, first of all, we always will get multiplier for the first level. I mean, the level we pass first, because otherwise case is not interesting. If we get, so the question is when we get multiplier for the second one. So if we, have, if we already have experience x0, then after passing the first level first, we will get experience x plus x1 multiplied by c. By, by c. And this need to be at most d1, d2 multiplied by v experience total to get multiplier for the second level. On the other hand, we have similar inequality for the another order. And if at least one of them is hold, we can, we can get multiplier for both levels. But what does mean that at least one of them is hold? That if either both of them is hold and no one, no of them is hold, then we just not, the, then ju order just doesn't matter. We can choose any order. And if one of the inequality is hold and another one doesn't, then we need to choose the correct one. So let's rewrite inequalities a bit. So I just move the stuff to the other side of inequality with minus sign. This doesn't change anything. So we have two values. And if one of them is less than 0 and another then is bigger than 0, and we need to choose correct one. Otherwise, we can choose any. So let's always choose the smallest one of these. So, we need, so what does it mean? That if this part is smaller than this part, we should choose the first one first. If otherwise the second part is bigger than, is smaller than the first part, we should choose the second level first. So, so for n equal to 2, choosing best order is just choosing, cho cho is just sorting these two, uh, two levels by some value. It can be easily shown that this, 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 this comparison of levels is transitive. I mean that if there is level A, which should be earlier than level B, and level B, which should be earlier than level C, then we can show that level A, my level A must, be, must be before level C. What does that mean? That means that we can just sort all levels and we know the correct order. But we don't know the correct subset of levels we need to try to, to get multiplier. So how this solution can be promoted to solution of the, of the, of the general case when e n is equal to 2000? Well, we, we need, we, if we choose some subset of levels, we want to have, we, so, so we have some levels and some of them should be multiplied. For example, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So first of all, we need to move everything else to the end. 
if lever doesn't get multiplied, we should finish it at the end of the, of, of the problem just because it doesn't matter. It, it can make things only worse to us because it will get bigger experience and it will be harder to get multipliers. So all levels which are not multiplies are just used at the end of the game. So we need to choose a subset of multiply levels. We know the order of them. We can sort them, sort by x multiplied by c plus d multi multiplied by v. And then in, we need to choose the subset in this, which, which would be acceptable to use in that order. This is just a knapsack problem. Like if we have seen, we need dynamic pro programming. Like if seen first n levels, is it possible to get x possible to get to get x experience? This dynamic programming can be easily calculated in time like n squared multiplied by, by max x, which is enough for this problem in general case because it has 10 seconds time limit. If you have some problems with time limits, this can be even optimized by bit sets, by dividing by computer word size, and this will definitely pass. But judges say that it should pass without it. That's all.